Hey people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a, a channel where I cover practical monitoring and evaluation and uh, project planning and management. So in today's video, we're going to look at uh, traditional vis-a-vis -vis development evaluation. We're going to understand the term development evaluation and understand the differences between traditional and uh, development evaluation. Uh, development evaluation is a new evaluation approach that has been adapted now by very many donors. It was evolved way back then, but now it's been adapted so much. UNDP is using it. Uh, it's a, a real time evaluation vis a vis the traditional evaluation. So it demystifies the traditional evaluation where people are currently who are currently looking at uh, doing evaluation after three years after the project has ended or midway the project. Yeah, development evaluation is looking at real time evaluation. It's similar to a concept of outcome harvesting, but uh, yeah, that is it about uh, development evaluation. So what is development evaluation? Development evaluation is an approach that can assist social innovators develop social change initiatives in, in complex and uncertain environments. That is the approach. It assists social innovators develop social change initiatives in complex and uncertain environments. Yeah. So the approach helps the role of research and development in private sector product development processes because it facilitates a real-time and close to real-time feedback to the program staff and uh, facilitates a continuous development process or loop. When you look at uh, the private sector, mostly they are dealing in products. Product sales, giving a service as a product vis-a-vis -vis the project environment yeah so development evaluation hopes to facilitate that real-time evaluation and putting in a feedback like if you're going to put a product on the market development evaluation is encouraging you to pre-test the, the product on the market and see its reception on the market are they accepting it well is it a good product all that information helps it actually improve your product if it has not been uh, accepted well onto the market even with the projects if you have long-term objectives you're going to have to identify some short-term outcomes that will contribute to that long-term objective so in those short outcomes if you're doing development evaluation you're going to use a real-time process of evaluating are we actually are uh, attaining these short short term outcomes and are they actually contributing to this overall objective of three years? So here you're doing it if it's a project you're doing quarterly or monthly evaluation, are we actually attaining? Are, they, are we shooting into this? Do we need to innovate more approaches to, to produce uh, to attain this objective or product? Yeah, that's the development evaluation facilitates you to think very innovatively about how you can actually attain an objective or produce a better product if you're in the private sector. Yeah, so development evaluation, development uh, evaluation, as I, I continued saying, that it's particularly suited to innovation, radical program redesign, uh, replication, and complex issues, and also crisis actually in the crisis of uh, covid-19 you saw how development evaluation was being used yeah it was real time updates real time updates of uh, of the covid-19 cases that were being registered how many are dying how many are, are, are getting cured so that is development evaluation it's real time evaluation to help you make an informed decision can we innovate a vaccine can we it's used in terms of crisis it's now used to help you create a better product and good attaining your objectives or short term outcomes yeah so it's a really very good evaluation method it demystifies all the traditional evaluation really like development evaluation is the way to go i uh, just a quick uh 
uh, a quick advert. I have a course on monitoring, a short course on monitoring and evaluation. It's going to take place from the 19th February to the 1st of March. I'm going to look at, put the link for your session. If you want to be engaged in uh, this course, you're going to have access to these resources and uh, and we will study more practically how you can actually integrate these into your programs. If you're an NGO looking to facilitate your program managers into this short course, you're welcome. I'm going to leave the link for your session in, my, uh, in the description box. Kindly check it out. Also have a course on kogika.com. You can check out. I'm going to leave the links in the description box of these courses. You can and enroll online and uh, study at your own uh, convenience. But in this short course, we're going to have actually a an online one where we can interact for the one of 19 February to first March. So let's continue. Um, development evaluation also supports, as I said, innovation development to guide adaptation to emergent and dynamic realities in the complex environments. It can take the form of new projects, new programs, new products, organization changes, policy reforms, because it's real time, because it's actually not waiting for a long time, it's, uh, it's real time and short term can actually innovate new products with this, with the information you're gathering. Your projects can come up, which can answer that objective. If the organization has some structure changes, you can change that, you can make new policy reforms. So it's actually a better evaluation approach. So what's the difference between a traditional and a development evaluation? Um, in terms of uh, purpose, Traditional evaluation supports improvement, summative tests, and accountability. As you know, the tradition, you're looking at summative testings, accountability of the money that was used. Yeah, that is the traditional. Vis-a-vis -vis where development evaluation looks at supporting the development of innovation and ad adaptation in a dynamic environment. Innovation, AI, machine learning is the way to go, and development evaluation is supporting all these processes. So, in a world that is very innovative, you actually need to adapt the development evaluation approach. And uh, in terms of roles and relationships, traditional is always positioned as an outsider to assure independence and objectivity. So, here, an outsider comes. Uh, the project was three years. After three years, you, you hire a, an external consultant to the evaluation to see whether actually the objectives were attained, are they independent, are they, yeah. Whereas development evaluation is done internally. It's an internal function for an internal team and it's integrated into the process of gathering and interpreting data, framing issues that are surfacing and testing model developments yeah model developments is a uh, if you develop a model you set you're testing the model is it working out this can be a model in, in project implementation can be a model in product development can be a model anywhere is it working out as i say this is real time evaluation in terms of accountability tradition is more focused on uh, external authorities and funders based on that explicit and pre coordinated criteria yeah that this is how you're going to do your accountability yeah 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 we need this we need this that is the traditional evaluation well wow. the objective matching the accountabilities yeah our development evaluation in tandem is looking at more on the innovators values and commitment to make a difference so development evaluation is actually looking at impacts Impact evaluation is actually the trending evaluation right now. If you're looking at the monitoring and evaluation trends, yeah. And I'm actually a very good consultant, guys. If you have any consultancy, any work, you can reach out to me still on my contacts. I'm going to leave them in the description box. And I can do consultants on impact evaluation, baselines, midterms. Yeah, you can just reach out to me. So here it's it's more focused on impact vis-a-vis -vis the accountability that the traditional approach was looking at. So the development evaluation is actually way better approach to 
evaluation. And in terms of measurement, uh, the traditional evaluation looks at measuring performance and success. Again, it's the predetermined goals and the smart outcomes. Yeah, that has been the traditional evaluation that uh, these are the, the goals, these were the outcomes, the indicators. So I'm going to measure again is that development evaluation measures and tracks mechanisms quickly as outcomes emerge. As I said, this real time as outcomes emerge, you're measuring, you're measuring. Can change happen during this period as the evaluation process and pause? Are these outcomes actually helping me attain my smart goals yes that is development evaluation is three time is quick it's tracking continuously continuously and there you're actually attaining a better objective let's say if you're implementing a project and uh you let's say you're going to you're constructing boreholes in uh, the village it's also actually development evaluation supports sustainability of these interventions so you're going to track how is the users how are they taking care of these boreholes if i post certain them are they actually of use to these people yeah because you may do something which people don't need and in turn in in turn after you leave as a project or as a donor they actually the services are, are dismantled are left in shrugs because you didn't monitor real time in the short term is it actually changing creating that impact in people's lives yeah are we uh, are we are, you, uh, are we creating user centered focused projects as a leader as a program manager as a institution head are we actually doing that and then in terms of our uh, evaluation results uh it details uh uh, the form evalu- uh, traditional looks at more of uh, detailed format reports, uh, validated best practices, generalized about cross time and space, and uh, it can also engage a fear of failure. Whereas development is rapid, real time feedback, diverse and user friendly forms of feedback, and the evaluation helps to nature learning yeah so here is real time evaluation the feedback me- mechanisms it's user friendly yeah you're looking at their use of this product their use of this intervention and it helps to nurture it its aim is to nurture learning learning of how we can adapt how we can innovate of how we can change some policies to actually achieve the impact we're looking at impact yeah and in terms of complexity and uncertainty, here uh, in, in the traditional evaluation, the evaluator tries to control the design, implementation, and evaluation process. Uh, whereas uh, uh, the development in the development evaluation is real time feedback, diverse, user friendly, and different forms of feedback. Yeah, as I said, it aims to nurture learning. In terms of standards, our uh, traditional looks at more of uh, the methodological competence and commitment to rigor, independence, credibility with external authorities and partners, and the analytical thinking. Yeah, whereas uh, the development evaluation looks at electricism, adult- adaptability, system thinking, creative and critical thinking. So, case skills right now, everywhere in the world are looking. For a critical thing a creative person you know with ai you have to be very creative and such an analytical person uh high tolerance for ambiguity open and the agile uh project management process development evaluation is open to that it facilitates teamwork and people skills and is able to facilitate rigorous and evidence-based perspectives so it's evidence-based but also fast rigorous very open so yeah, development evaluation is a very good approach. Yeah, and uh, we are in the ses- in the sessions. We shall look at more of the practical practices of how we can integrate this in the courses. So please enroll for the course. I'm leaving the links in the description. It's only at eighty two dollars. Yeah, interested? Enroll for the courses on Kudka and uh, the online courses we shall have from nineteenth fast match thank you very much like share and subscribe to my channel thank you